Welcome to the stream. Hey, if you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. It's Friday, so I'm gonna kick things off with the uh, Vampire Survivors here. Just to kind of unwind from the workday. And then I'm gonna jump into a bunch of demos from Steam Next Fest, as that's going on. So I did that last year, and I had a lot of fun with it. So I'm gonna do it again. But more on that later. For now, <laughs> let's see. With the most adverse fate in Green Acres, run off the edge of the world. With the most adverse fate. I don't know what that means. I Maybe it means with the skulls in Green Acre. Find the only place where the flowers bloom in the bone zone. Survive boss rash. <laughs> Alright, with one weapon, I'll do that. I guess I can pick, right? So let me let me consider this. I'm opening a drink up as well. Let me consider this. One weapon would be good. Well, one weapon, but I'm sure I can get as many passives as I want. It says weapon specifically. It's interesting. I wonder if I can get two and then merge them. Alright, but if we're, if we're doing a one weapon thing, I think this is probably a good one. This one as well. Um, yeah, I'm, just, I'm just thinking <laughs> which would be the best at doing a one weapon boss rush. I guess, let's try this one. Um, boss, rash, let's just try. We'll see. I don't, I don't know if this is the best at defense here. Yeah. Okay, uh... Laurel is a weapon, technically. Okay. We'll, we'll see how this plays out. Okay, crown. There's another good one. I mean, I doubt it'd be so strict that it doesn't let me get multiple accessories. This might be problematic. Relying a lot on the random nature of this. Uh, uh, this might not work. Yeah, I think the other thing is the character's move speed is not great. All right, let's try. Let me think. This is even slower, so I probably shouldn't get that. You know what? 
Yeah, this might work. Minecarts are OP, and it doesn't evolve, so... Duplicate a cooldown reduction, area damage, duration increase, uh, projectile speed. Okay, there's duplicator. I already see a little bit of a downside to this, but it's still probably better. Okay, uh, yeah, let's get wings. It's not going to be easy. Hey, cuz, what's up? You're up late. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is kind of suffering. Okay, uh... Go area damage. I still think this is the way, but we'll see. I can't see how I'm supposed to survive this with one weapon. This that just seems like too difficult a challenge. I might see if there's a loophole. Like maybe if I end up with one weapon. Hey, what are you here for? Oh right. Nah. You're playing Slay the Spire. Oh, S Slay the Spire is great. Uh, this is like zombies. Kinda. It's like, you just have to survive as long as possible. Um, pretty much, you kill stuff, you collect gems, and then you get given a choice of items. And then, uh, you know, you get stronger. Everything automatically... Shoots, so you just have to move, pretty much. And it just gets harder and harder. Though this specifically is like a, an arena where you have to survive, I guess, boss-type enemies. And there's a bunch of characters to pick from, each having their own, like, unique traits, so... It's surprisingly addictive. Yeah, Slater Spy is great. I, I play that offline on my Switch.
You play it on your phone, that's probably best. This is also available on phone. Okay, we need to... Get these to be powerful. Uh, Brace or... Okay, this is looking good. And I have fast, big minecarts. But I'm currently doing a challenge where I have to try and survive this with just one weapon. So, we'll see how I go. What are the arrowheads mean? Oh, typically on a stage, there are hidden items. It's just, this is kind of taunting me more than anything. So you can go out there and find items, but in this arena, you can't. But in other stages, you can go walk to other parts of the map. Oh boy, I'm too slow. I need to get movement speed. Okay, well. I think that went okay, but. Okay, I'm out of curiosity. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try this. Like, maybe if I end up with one item, it's fine. Let's see. Uh, boss rush. Alright. This is really not helping my cause. Alright, area attack, that's fine. Hmm. But that's a weapon, not nah, stick with that. Okay. I have to play this so differently because of this challenge. I mean, this character moves quicker, so that's nice. I'm not struggling as much in that department. But it doesn't clear as fast as the minecart. Uh, yeah, let's just do a flat damage increase.
Uh, I guess let's get Spellbinder. We have to be careful. Like, I don't want to end up in a situation where I ha I'm forced to take a weapon. not working out. It's not letting me upgrade my pistols. So, I haven't locked out here. Okay, there we go. Pistol. I'm gonna leave that there as an emergency. Wow, why is this thing not dying? Holy crap. Okay, uh... Candelabra... Gun... Gun... Okay, that's good. That's damage increase. I'll take it. How's this thing not dead? real test. This isn't going to catch up to me like last time. I think I'm okay. Need to grab stuff that's going to be useful. Okay, pistol upgrades are still a while away. Pistol, thank you. Thank 
Okay. Okay, nice. They're pretty equal. Oh boy. Spinach. Oh, this crab. Okay. Oh, my God, that claw. I'm still, still one more life. It's unfortunate because it's going to reduce my damage output. Oh god. Yeah. When do I plan on doing Metroid? Oh, uh, when the physical copy comes out. I'm not purchasing it digitally. So you got time confirming. Uh, the physical copy doesn't come out in Australia until m first week of March. So I'll be playing Kirby and then I'll play Metroid immediately after. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, I did check the pricing on it later and surprisingly they made it affordable. So... You got time. That's kind of nice of them to do that. Given that they jacked up the price of uh, Tears of the Kingdom by 10, so. I think this gun thing might work. I just kind of got unlucky with the rolls. You're also waiting to get a new controller. Yeah. I mean, it's only the 10th of February right now, so with, you have like about a month. Just a little over a month, I would, I would assume, before I get around to playing it. Whenever my physical copy gets there, and then depending on what I'm up to with my games. Nintendo releasing game under MSRP. Yeah, not just that, releasing a game... <laughs> And it's a, a remaster, and they're not releasing at full pr price. Like, look at what happened with Skyward Sword. <laughs> it's kind of kind of crazy. I thought it was going to be the same as Skyward Sword. Uh, let's see. I will try dual pistols again. I think that worked fine. That's. 
got unlucky. But I am looking forward to playing through that one. The only thing now it does is like... I would want to play through the others, but now I'm kind of afraid they're going to give all three of them the same treatment. I should probably wait. You're almost done 100%ing Paper Mario. Nice. Yeah, that one's pretty tricky. I did enjoy that game, but I just... Uh, the combat drag. And the other thing that was a complaint at the start was like... I feel like I was multiple hours in and it was still giving me tutorials, like... I just wanted it to leave me alone. <laughs> That's the other thing I remember about it. The combat is awful, yeah. I kind of wish they would just stop trying to reinvent the wheel and just go back to it. One of the collectibles makes you refight all the bosses. It certainly have more patience than me. I don't think I 100% it. The non-turn based combat is amazing. The blooper part in the boat was really good. Yeah. There's definitely highlights. I can't say I know anyone that was a huge fan of the combat in that game. Minions should not be turn-based, yeah, I agree. If they just kind of kept it normal and then had the big boss fights be, you know, what it was, then sure, you can get on board with that. Ah, oh, there we go. All right, this is a good start. Very good start. Yeah, that reminds me, there's like some new game coming out that looks really good. I keep forgetting the name of it, but it just it just straight up looks like Paper Mario. Like classic Paper Mario, and it, it seems good. It's not Bug Fables, that's already out, but it's this new one. I keep forgetting to wishlist it every time I talk about it. But I mean, the writing in The Origami King is, is on point. See if I can find the name of it. I was kind of surprised. Oh, you know what? I might look up if it's part of Next Fest. Because I'm going to be checking out that tonight. A bunch of different demos for a bunch of different games. Because, uh, yeah. Next Fest is on. Should collect that. All right, cool.
I find it interesting how this was released. The Metroid thing. Like, I was thinking about it. I'm like, what would have possessed Nintendo to all of a sudden be like, this game is coming out today digitally? Like, it's kind of unheard of, like, for them to just be like, oh yeah, this is just releasing now and we'll worry about the physical copy later. Maybe it was a case of that Prime 4 isn't as far ahead as they would like. That they're like, well, we need to do something with Metroid. And maybe that's why. Nintendo loves us. Uh, I mean... I think we love Nintendo. I don't think they... I'm sure to some extent they do love the fan base, but at the same time, they do so many things that's just, like... the worst possible thing you can do to fans. I think... The thing they may have realized is like, oh, people want Metroid games, because for them to go from, like, being hardly ever releasing content for Metroid to what this is right now, like, I imagine Dread sold really well. And I mean, it did win an award, right? So, like, probably... I guess, justify the series to them. Now, if they would only give Star Fox another chance, I'd be happy. Two more levels, okay. Well, three. And I've been, I've been kind of debating, like, bringing forward me playing, um, Samus Returns. Like, maybe putting that before Kirby. Because I was going to do that this year. Oh, I'm risking it here. I should probably just... Okay, just be happy that I got this. It's fine. you play to Samus Returns is great. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's the precursor to Dread. Like, it's the same developers. So, the combat is pretty much the same. That would have been another easy win for them, is just port that to the Switch. You sold your XL to get a new 3DS and you're waiting on the new 3DS to come in. Oh no, yeah, the, the, the new 3DS are just so worth it, though. Okay, uh... How many? Two more. It's from Japan. Uh... Are there any region-locking shenanigans with the 3DS from Japan? Because I remember... 
with the DS. Not the 3DS, with the 3DS, with the DS, it was like, it was region free, except for Japan. <laughs> Not if you install custom firmware, fair enough. Yeah, okay. Makes sense. The designs are so much cooler, like, I was so jealous that Japan got a, uh, a Super Nintendo 3DS. But like, one that was uh, styled like the Famicom. Because America got one, but I don't think we got one. Or at least I wasn't aware of it. Like, I would have picked that up. For <laughs> sure. It just looks so nice, the button scape. Ugh. Hey, Sandy, thanks for the 18 months. How's it going? Wish you could go back in time and buy a new 3DS when they were released. Hate how stupid you are. Why? I mean, did you get one sooner rather than later? I'm glad I, I'm glad I got mine. Uh, initially, I wasn't because the Switch came out shortly after I got mine. But now in hindsight, I'm like, yeah, I'm kind of glad I did that. Okay, this is useful. Let's just get movement speed to ensure survival. You're so awakened for no reason, how am I? Doing alright, just wrapped up the work week. Gonna kick back. Just opening with this for now. Then gonna check out a bunch of different game demos I've downloaded from Steam. Because I have like this festival going on where it's just, you can download a bunch of game demos. Right, this gets really hectic now. We'll see how it goes. I gotta mix of different things. I did it last year and had a lot of fun with it. And a couple of those games I did end up getting and playing separately. Okay, one more gun. Oh no! There was a knight there. Crap. I didn't see it. It was like in a blind spot. That's going to reduce my damage output. I do remember this gets really annoying in terms of damage. Oh yeah, and then this asshole like halves my screen. Oh, okay. Well, I'm still, like, alive, but... I'm not even sure what weapon I could use here that would be able to survive this. I kind of got unlucky again. Oh no, I'm fucked. I'm just gonna get up. Like, at this point, I just, I just need more. No. Yeah, so... Okay, it falls apart at the 12 minute mark. The projectiles just can't deal with it. Alright. I mean, what else could work here? Hmm.
gains one projectile permanent or what. Maybe you, but this would be, like, tricky. Alright, let's see. This is gonna suck at the start, but if I survive it... I get the feeling like the Storm of Knife might be good. Ugh, I need to fix the movement speed, this character's way too slow. Okay. Uh, yep, there's movement speed, great. item sucks at the start, but afterwards it, it is pretty good. I'm gonna struggle at the start. Bats. Oh yeah, wait a minute, isn't there should be there should have been an update. I think there's a new stage, because I remember saying this game was gonna get an update this week. Should probably check that out after this. Uh, uh this sucks. <laughs> this is what's wrong with this character, it just moves so slow. Like, I can't position myself in a manner where I'm shooting these directly at enemies. Yeah, that's not, that's not gonna work out. I'll keep trying, but... I think... I think the idea is correct, it's just... This character just struggles at the start, if I'm only relying on knives. Uh, trying to think, how, how am I gonna get this done? I mean, maybe this. Let me try this. This is a good one. The thing is, I think it's good at the start, but then it gets weak at the end, so we'll see. Crown. Kinda reminds me of that character from The Witcher. Triss, I think it is.
Guess so far so good. Uh. Hmm. Just thinking, okay, so I'd be getting area damage, duration, cooldown reduction, have crown, curse skull. Yeah, no. These these don't fit with what I'm trying to do. Yeah, I think wings are probably important. Okay, so yeah, this is this is working pretty well. I'm just worried about later. I think this this is the problem that I'm going to be experiencing. It's good at taking out little minions, but bosses are going to take a while. Okay, uh, I guess I gotta go crown again. I mean, that's nice. I don't think they're gonna catch me now. I would've preferred damage, but this is fine. I mean, it has to start giving me my item. Crown can only go up one more time. Still worried about this. Nice. Okay, uh... 
Oh, wait, I should have gone that. Shit. Alright, uh, time to banish, I guess. I messed up. I should have gotten the duration thing. Okay, on the bright side, I know this is 100% going to be Song of Mana, so... Oh, what a chest. Wait, is that already maxed? I guess it is. Okay, don't touch that then. There's no point. Uh, spinach. Alright, touching it now. Just get some flat damage. Damage. Alright, cool. See if I can get all these. Wait, did it just give me double crab? I think it did. This gets everything. Uh, banish the cross. Oh no, I hate that thing. <laughs> Okay, got it. Alright, let me just try and lead them away. Yeah, I got it. Please don't, please don't die. Ugh, okay. Hurry up. There we go. Okay, this is more effective now.
Oh, okay. I just gotta hope that this is able to go the distance. I don't know if it will. Oh crap, no. I have to ban that thing. That may have screwed me over. What? Please. Oh my god. Oh, this is so not cool. Is this a new game mode? No. It's just a stage where you do a boss arena instead. I'm doing an achievement where you have to survive with just one weapon. Oh, I'm fucked. Ugh, damn it. That did go well, though, overall. I think it has a good chance. It's hard. Okay. Let me try again. I think instead of might, I should have gone cooldown reduction, but it just didn't appear. Okay, cooldown reduction. I need both times for this to work. And I need to ban the Cursed Skull the moment I get it. Just have one stack of it and that's it. I'm gonna get it now. Just so it's been acquired. And then I'll ban it the moment I can get it. Does this still have treasure chests? Yeah, once you kill these elites, generally they'll drop one. It's just, you have more of these big dudes spawning more than anything else. Perfect timing. Okay, the spellbinder. just gets incredibly hard towards the end because there's just it kind of fills up the screen with junk and it's hard to survive
Okay, uh, banish that. There we go. Now we won't get screwed over by chests. Had to do that. But I need at least one for the weapon to evolve. so long to kill anything. Okay, there we go. Uh, Spellbinder. It's fine. Stop time. <laughs> it feels like it does nothing. Cooldown reduction. I need to get some multis. <laughs> That's probably the only way I'm going to succeed here. Ow! That sucked. Binder. Cooldown reduction. Okay, let me get this. How's this looking? Okay, well now I can only level up the item. It's starting to look good now. It's just a constant stream. It's just worth getting this before I spread myself a bit more thin. Banishing stuff because there's 
particular items I want to get, and Might is not one of them. I want to get area damage, I want to get movement speed. And the last one I haven't quite decided yet. Probably the cursed uh, block. Because then that increases like area as well and duration. This is scary. <sighs> Banish the knife. I might just have to get this just so this levels up again. Oh man. <laughs> I feel like they're gonna catch up. Maybe armor just to reduce damage taken. That might be a good call. I guess I should be thinking about the end. This is kind of annoying. <laughs> Let me get it! Ugh. Okay. There we go. We got it. That should be a little easier to manage. I don't have movement speed. This is concerning. It's not giving me the passives I want. This sucks. I've had to skip so many levels. Finally. Fuck. That thing has such an awkward hitbox. This 100% fucked me. <laughs> it just didn't give me the movement speed. Kept giving me the same ones over and over again. If I don't make it, it'll be because of the item distribution. That I had to skip so many. GOP. That's just how it is. It's a roguelike at the end of the day.
sucks. I hope it can deal with these robots quickly, otherwise I'm screwed. Nah. That would have worked if I had gotten move speed. But it, it just kept giving me the same passives over and over again. Which... that sucks. All right, try again. I think this is the way to go with this character, to, to do this. It's just... It needs to be better. Uh, this is probably a restart. Yeah, I think I used too many rerolls, so I'm just gonna... I'm not having any of that. Like, I need to keep my rerolls as much as possible. But I can't have that happen. Okay. There we go. It's kind of suffering at the start because it feels like it does nothing. I'm not sure if it was movement speed that messed me up at the end there, but...
This is definitely not going to be easy. As long as I'm getting the items without having to reroll, then it's fine. Like, this so far is okay. Okay, cool. Very good. I just, I need that movement speed. Uh, area effect. I'm gonna get that right now. down. Oh, thank you. Okay. Duration, area effects. Unfortunately, it's a single... Looking okay. gonna use this as a chance to damage. I have to start banishing stuff now. Alright, that one's gonna be useless. Such a waste of a level up when I have to do that.
sure. <laughs> I'm not getting lucky with these chests either. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I don't know, at this point I would have liked to have had like a max level weapon at least, but it's just not happening. Nice. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that was huge. Okay, now I just need the skull. lucky. Just can't get the move speed. <laughs> okay, just getting this. I think at this point, just take it. Like, the weapon evolution would be nice, but it's just. Whatever upgrade I can get, it's worth it. Spanish robe. <laughs> it's doing the same thing again. Oh no. It's this this thing with the feet just has such a huge hitbox. I hate it. again I'm gonna be a victim of RNG yeah this is not gonna work I'm already up to this I don't have my upgraded weapon I don't have move speed Oh no, it's money. Shit. That was a mistake. I'm 
so annoyed. It <laughs> just won't give me what I want. With multiple level ups wasted. As soon as those big robots come, I'm screwed. Here we go. Or the evils. So I messed up. I don't think I'll get through it. Not nah. one weapon. Okay. The other thing I just realized that my because there's also this. It increases enemy speed, health, and quantity. Which I guess I could remove that and make my life easier, but I don't know. <sighs> this is hard. I can't think of what character would be good at this. I'm gonna try this again. Maybe minecarts. I feel like this has its own set of problems, but maybe it might be stronger. Ow. This is kind of going in the same direction. I guess always at the mercy of random. Movement speed is a problem with this character. Okay. I think what I'm going to have to do with this one... To give it a fair go, I have to get movement speed right away. Otherwise it just doesn't work.
You know what? Let me try you. This character is kind of a mix of area damage and projectiles that hit directly. I may have made things work accidentally. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay, there we go. Thank you. Finally. Now this feels less horrible. I think this build is just gonna suck early on, but I think later on it's gonna be good. Just need to get through this initial phase. Let's go projectile speed again. Like, I don't want to waste three rolls this early. Okay, there we go. First rank up. Oh, when they bounce between enemies like that, that's really good. Duplicator, nice. Yep. So far, so good. Alright, no, that's great. Gladly take that.
one of these combinations has to work. Otherwise, I just may have to cave and turn down the curse thing. See, when it does that, it does a lot of damage. not seen this in a while. I feel like it's been an eternity since I saw one of these. Okay. I'm gonna enhance the projectiles. Yes! Nice. This weapon doesn't evolve, so just open chests as soon as I get them. Don't do this to me. Cool down. Alright, excellent. Air damage. Excellent. This is looking good. I guess I'm, this is max movement speed. I got a few more levels left of Cherry Bomb, so it's not at its peak. This right here, that seems to do a lot when I get him in the corner like that. The rebound potential. Okay, that's fine. I mean, it wasn't the cherry bomb, but the cooldown reduction is at max now. In fact, most stuff is at max. Okay, the sim's potent now. I'm going to get this because it gives me more potential. Okay. 
It's fine. I oh know this rebound thing is is legit. It's no joke. Damn it. I was kind of hoping for uh final piece of this. There it is. All right. Completely done. Now we just run with this and hopefully it'll get me the win. We'll see how good this is, depending. Okay. Trust that this is going to work out. Oh boy, here comes the real test. Okay, good. Perfect timing. That could not have come at a better time. Oh no! I ran into a repo. It's okay. Still okay. Okay, this is going to ease the pressure now. Um, okay, so this is a banish. Oh my god, no! Oh! No! <laughs> Damn it. 
Ah! Those stupid orbs. This might be the way. This worked out really well. Okay. I just have to repeat that again. It sucked at the start, but towards the end, it, it did get ridiculously good. Oh, so close. Okay, cool down. That's the best I've done so far. Not great, I had to re-roll all those times. I can't believe how close I got. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's just increase the cherry bomb. So
Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> That's a big one. Alright, a max cooldown already. Love it. This is maybe a little bit of a downside doing this. I need to get the next passive. This is leveling up way too quickly. Wow. Okay. What level is it now? It's already that far. We have to start banishing. All right, so after the next level, I have to banish that item just so we don't get the negative aspect of it. There we go, area damage, finally. I need movement speed. <laughs> Starting to get scary. I shouldn't just touch that chest just in case the multi. Because if it's a multi and I get two of the bars, then that's not good. I'll be able to get out of its range. I might, I might just have to pick this up. Okay. It's a ban next time. This is so unfair. I could just can't escape that claw. This is a good build, it's just I think I, I have to have movement speed or I, I, I will just die. Like, the claw just gets too big. Ugh. 
Ugh, I found something that works, but... Okay. I'm gonna try again. Probably the last attempt, but... <sighs> I'm gonna make sure I get movement speed. If I don't get movement speed after the first item, then we're gonna start again, because it's the most important thing. Okay. A lot of rerolls for that, but I think it's it's definitely worth it. Now the repercussions. We'll see how this goes. That's a mistake. Okay, uh, let's get projectile speed. Just allows for more bounces. Yes. <laughs> I don't really have much of a choice. I don't have many options. I can't waste the banishes too early. Because I have to finish this with one weapon ultimately, so they're going to kind of be used to skip level ups later. that. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna get directly in the middle of them. Now move. <laughs> This weapon does quite a lot of damage when it bounces. It's pretty legit. Banish the Lancet. I mean, I should have picked the duplicator. It's okay.
<laughs> Why is that thing so fast? Even with the movement speed, it's still catching up to me that quickly. Okay, go. Why does this feel like I'm doing so much worse? <laughs> I don't get it. I have to get the, the weapon leveled up a bit more. Ah, oh, thank you. Okay, that's, that's my opportunity. Real tears, the ending of Origami King. What was the ending? It's the self sacrifice thing, right? If I remember correctly. The last fight is fun, though. <laughs> First Bobby, now her. How dark? I mean, how dark is the game, honestly? Like. Paper Mario games in general, just their storylines tend to be a lot darker than the other games in the series. I remember seeing something along the lines of like, if you look in the sky, it kind of hints that she's okay, but that's like open to interpretation. Should have just said accept me, which would have been free. Literally no reason. I mean, maybe just didn't want to be alone. She was alone the entire time. But I mean... There were other creatures. Like, I think... I mean, it's been a while since I played, but like... Maybe she felt there was redemption for the king the whole time. And that's what she was hoping for, and then I guess in the end, that's just like, well... 
I don't know. I can't justify it. It's a sad story. Oh no, I'm fucked. Like, at this point, <laughs> I was doing so much better last time. Why can't we just have happy endings? Because that's not real life! Oh, why? Well, okay. No. Um, yeah, I mean, that was interesting. Why did it do so well last time and here I just struggled? I think it just had to do with the case of I just wasn't strong enough quick enough. And by the time I got up to the late, it was too late. Like, I wasn't killing stuff quick enough. Okay, well at least I got it right away this time. I don't know, I was more shocked about Bobby than the ending. This is going to be the last attempt, and then I'm going to move on to Steam stuff. <laughs> oh, this is definitely, like, triggering the stubbornness in me, because I feel like I can do this. It's just, it has to be the right circumstances. Kind of unfortunate, but okay. <sighs> I'm already banishing. gonna come down to just the perfect circumstances but I, I have yet to find a character that works better than this one so this one just seems to have the best of both worlds is like it directly goes for an enemy and then the rebounds do a lot of damage and then it has area damage as well so as a single weapon this is a pretty decent one I was tempted to try the doggo as well, because doggo's got good movement speed.
Okay, get in the middle. Yes, go rebounds, go. I think this is the key, is just doing this motion again so the rebounds get them. Give me a multi. Ah, alright. This one's looking just about as average. Okay, no, this, this is better. Why does that one take so long to kill? Uh, never gonna get that, so let's just banish it. How's it looking? too greedy. The one thing that's concerning me is like, every now and then something will unplug and plug back in, but I don't do anything. I don't know if it's like a frayed cable or if it's just like one of the hard drives just turning themselves off. No, yep, that's exactly what it was. <laughs> okay, hang on. There we go. I think I need to... Because I'm running a USB port. Is there a USB port that they make that just doesn't end up being stupid eventually? Because I feel like every single one I've tried just somehow ends up doing weird stuff eventually and it's I don't do anything like it's not like I touch the thing What happens when you have too many hard traps? <laughs> Ever since I started storing stream footage a lot better, I have so many drives now. I got the feeling this is not gonna work. Like, look at my build right now. It's just it's three items. <laughs> like, and I'm already up to this part. I don't get how that previous run worked so well. Shouldn't go for that just yet. There's, that claw is gonna mess me up if I do. Don't 
duplicator. That's a good item. Okay. That's fine. Just... Jeez. <laughs> Uh, banish the guns. Oh no. I've maxed out everything already and it's not giving me any items that I want. Oh, that thing has such an annoying hitbox. Like, that, that felt like that was nowhere near me and it still hit me. Like, it's massive range. Oh well, there goes a life. Don't touch that chest yet. It's a waste if I do. Sick. <laughs> Still not giving me the passives I want. <sighs> I hate I hate the crap. Alright, we're already up to this now. Can you please just give me one of the passes that I want? <laughs> the Bracer. The cooldown book. I'm going to lose this because the game refuses to just give me what I want. One more! <laughs> I refuse to let this be the way I go out. One more. This is so annoying, like... Everything is all good and then it just, it just stops giving me items. It just keeps giving me the same ones over and over again. Okay, duplicator, that's a... It's a good one to get right away. Brace off, okay. believe just as long as it's just 
if I get four of the passives I want, then I'm looking good. Like, ideally, duplicator, bracer, movement speed, and area damage. Those are the four. The final two, if I can get them, sure. But, like, I feel like this doesn't work if I don't get, at the very least, those four. Cooldown reduction would be nice. But it's not critical. Okay, there's movement speed. That's three. Now I kind of have to see this through. That did just give me three items. There's area damage, right, I got the four most important ones. Cooldown reduction, then I'll be looking good. That's, that's fine. How's this looking? Okay, it's, it's not bad. It's not bad. Trying to go for those rebounds. It's kind of been nice to me. I haven't had to re-roll too much. I mean, aside from that one mistake I made. that. 
dragons. Okay, I'll take that. Oh, this is getting scary. fine. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Ugh, much better. Okay, it's crab time. Just suddenly grew. I'm going to leave that. Honestly, the reroll is lasting that long. It's pretty lucky. Man, like one. Six. I'd read your message, but like I'm trying to avoid not saying the C word. It pains me as an Australian to have to do it, but YouTube's kind of punishing that stuff now, so. I'll say any other word, though. It's a tough time to be an Australian streamer. chest. I need it to give me the cooldown book and then I'll be happy. Oh, I'm already up to this. Ugh. Alright. Yep. 
didn't give me it. This is probably not going to work out. Why am I so unlucky with passive items? Like, it just never gives me the combination. It just seems to cycle through the same ones over and over again. I'm gonna do something about it. Maybe I should just start banishing passives instead. things. <laughs> I'm just gonna start banning passives. I doubt I'm gonna survive, but... Wasn't there- oh, there's a chicken in the corner, but I'm being blocked. Okay, get it? Nah. This is so annoying. I have a good strategy, it just doesn't want to give me the passives. I'm gonna try it final, final time. And this time, if it's a passive I don't like, I'm banning it. I think that's the way to go. Because it just keeps doing the thing where it, it, it doesn't give me the ones I want. Okay. I'm gonna banish the crown. <laughs> I'm gonna do it this way. Do the banishes early on where it's not too big a deal. Okay, re-roll. Banish. Challenge is so hard. Ah, I'm starting again. That, that was unfortunate. All right, whatever. I can't. I can't lose a life that early. They just got shoved into me, and I couldn't do anything. What arena is it? Uh, boss rash. I'm trying to do this challenge where you have to do this with only one weapon. And I've found that this works well, it's just I need a specific set of passive items and it's just refusing to give me the passives that I want, so... Okay, there's one. I'm going to try banishing any passive that I don't want right away. Take it. A challenge on the game. Yeah, it's in the secrets menu. It tells you to do this. Uh, this doesn't upgrade, but it, despite it not upgrading, it is kind of strong for, for this because 
the bounces and do quite a bit of damage, and then when it does explode, it does AoE, so... As a single weapon choice, it's pretty decent, because it covers quite a few bases. At the start, it's a little bit of a struggle, but once it gets up there... So far, this is the one that's worked best for me. Uh, okay, so we banish this immediately. Oops, I'll take the upgrade instead. Pretty sure it doesn't upgrade. What does the Grimoire say? Yeah, it doesn't upgrade. At least not to my knowledge. Good luck. Yeah, it's not easy. I've kind of been at it for a couple of hours, so this is going to be my last attempt at it, I think. I'm just being a little stubborn with it. Okay, that's two. When you go to a wall, the rebound is pretty good damage. But when time stops, you kind of just stand in the middle of them and then it just rebounds off all of them. I'm not sure if I want... I'm not sure if I want armor eventually. I'll keep it as an option, but... Alright, there we go. It's just a shame the damage can't be increased significantly. No, I know. But the issue I was having was like, with the other items, they either have a very slow start, and I can't get far enough for them to be good, or they have a very good start but then fall off when it comes to, like, the massive crowd at the end of this. And this is the only one that just seems to be pretty well balanced. There's also the matter of the character, like, it can't be a character that's too slow. The moment you get up to the giant crab, like, you just get screwed instantly if you don't have move speed. It's not an easy It's not an easy challenge. I thought I'd be okay with it, but... I ha I've had to think about it quite a bit. Take it. Whoops. <laughs> it's alright. I've never seen the crab. Oh, you'll see it. Just use this as a cautionary tale, because 
It's this thing that goes from, oh yeah, this is manageable to like, it'll instantly mess you up. Oh yeah, no, these things are annoying as well. They move pretty quickly, but thankfully they're knocked back really easily. These hoppies are also annoying with the moose speed. It's not looking great. Like, I'm still. Ugh, jeez. Okay. Are they high level enemies? Uh, more or less. You do get skeletons and bats every now and then. But most of them, yeah, they're, they're pretty tanky. Okay, good, finally. Stand in the middle. Okay. <sighs> Whatever. Okay, move out. Reroll, reroll. All right, banish the Pomerola. I just have to get my good passes. Yeah, this weapon's pretty legit. If there's one thing this has taught me is how to use this properly now. I might pick it up when it's uh, like closed spaces. The rebound thing is really good. And if you get projectile speed, you just get more bounces off it before it falls off. Unfortunately, the game is kind of being a dick right now and only giving me two passives. I don't think I'm going to succeed here. It's just... It pretty much just comes down to what passives get given. <sighs> Another area damage, like, it, it, it just, it's nice, but it doesn't help. Okay, duplicate, finally. This should be much better. Yeah, that's the crab I was talking about. No, the, the situation just improves significantly with that. Okay, there's Bracer. Yep. Okay, this is looking good. I mean, they're not multi chests, but I'll take them. Alright, the only one missing now is cooldown reduction. I'm feeling a little better about this now. I hate that thing. That thing has such a deceivingly large hitbox.
What are other weapons that I choose before Peach? Uh, so I tried carts. I tried, uh, what was the other one? Hang on, I'll, I'll have to go through it. <laughs> I know cart was one of the first ones I tried and it seemed decent, but the character was just too slow. Oh yeah, right, I can't. I tried, uh, so Song. That was one where, like, it was easy at the start, but then later it just... It kind of fell off pretty hard. At, at this point, Song kind of falls off. It does well early on, like, you, you're cruising, and then when you get up to this part, it, it just doesn't kill stuff. Even upgraded. Oh no. That's the one thing that can single-handedly mess me up, is that. Yeah, my weapon's not max. I mean, that's to be expected. Oh no, yeah, this absolutely sucks. <laughs> but the closest I've gotten, I've, I've beat a couple of the, the death spectre things. I did beat a couple of them. And I was so close to getting it done, but then a ring of those explosions just suddenly appeared on top of me and I died. That's why I've, I've been so stubborn with this. Okay, I'm going for this. Uh, that was a good sound. We- we like the sound of that. Now, can I- can I please have heals? Game? Oh god. Right, this. Yep, and then- you, yep. <laughs> See, that's the other problem. <laughs> that part right there. I forgot about the 12 minute mark. I should, if I would have waited 10 seconds, I probably would have gotten it. Okay. I still think this is probably the best chance. With this character. The other ones I didn't even get remotely close. Um, so. I mean, I tried Menya. So that one was... When it worked, it worked, but it was too erratic, so I thought, like, major AoE would work, but I couldn't get far enough. This character just moves way too slow. Um, I tried... I was thinking, like, if I got Knife Storm, because that ends up being really good. Uh, but unfortunately, it's just way too hard. This dude waves moves too slow, so you can't turn around and hit things quick enough, so... You just can't, you're kind of on the back foot too much at the start. Um, I tried Pugnala. Started off okay, but then later on it just falls off. Same with this. The ones that I've gotten pretty decent with, Ramba and this one. But this one has definitely been the one that has gotten the furthest in the, trying to do it with a single item. So... Also, hey, Laura. Do I do we have ravioli in Australia? Of course we do. Yeah, it's a it's a great pasta. But okay, I've I've been doing this for almost three hours. <laughs> I'll I'll hit my head against this brick wall tomorrow. But uh, tonight I wanted to check out a bunch of demos from Next Fest, so I'm gonna do that. Uh, I just need like five minutes to get a beverage and stretch my legs, so... Small intermission. Rune Tracer, not very good. Uh... I didn't try it, but it might be worth a shot. I think what I was thinking with Rune Tracer is, like... It's kind of reliant on the bouncers hitting. So I guess that's why I, it didn't occur to me to try it, but maybe it could work. 
Um, yeah. I might give it a go next time. But so far, like, that one has worked the best because it's a projectile that more or less aims at the enemies. And because they cluster, it bounces between them. And then the explosion is your AoE damage. So, am I ending the stream? No, 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 no. Just ending Vampire Survivors, which, by the way, if you're watching this on YouTube later, thanks for watching. Okay. This is where we say bye to YouTube.